Today I want to practice a little bit with you about how we can find uh, absolute locations using lines of latitude and lines of longitude. So for this example and whenever you're trying to find a line of uh, a point of absolute location you always need to start with the line of latitude and just a reminder the latitude lines are the ones that go side to side the lat lines are the flat lines. So you always want to start with your finger here on the mouse at zero degrees, the equator. Let's start by trying to find point A on this map, what that line of latitude and longitude is. So you can see to find what flat line point A is on right here, we go from zero degrees and we're going to travel 20 degrees south. So that is the line of latitude that point A is on, is 20 degrees south latitude. But we also need to find what its longitude is. So just bear in mind that it's at 20 degrees south latitude, but we also need to find what the longitude is. So for longitude, you need to start again at zero degrees, and that would be the prime meridian. So in this case, to find where point A is, you can travel along the curved line and you would find that point A rests at 100 degrees longitude. Now just bear in mind that on maps like this you're going to find that the lines of longitude are curved and that's because the earth of course is a sphere, it's not a, a flat surface. So if we were listing the absolute location of this point, point A right here, we would list it at 20 degrees south latitude and 100 degrees east longitude because the point is south of the equator and east of the prime meridian. So let's go ahead and try again with point B right up here. So again we're going to want to start with what its degree is of latitude. So we start again here at zero degrees the equator and we're going to move up 20, 40, 60, 80 degrees latitude for where point B is. So we would classify that as 80 degrees north latitude. But then we also need to find what the longitude is. And lo and behold, point B is right on the prime meridian. So it intersects where 80 degrees north meets 0 degrees east or west. So it's latitude and longitude range, you would list that as 80 degrees north latitude, 0 degrees longitude. Let's do one last one for practice and we'll go with point G right here since we are in the United States and that looks like it's pretty close to South Dakota. So again we're going to start at zero degrees latitude and we'll find that point G goes up 20, 40 degrees latitude. So G is on the line of latitude 40 degrees north. So let's go to the line of longitude and we'll find that point G we move over 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120 degrees, oh excuse me, it looks like it's just 100 degrees. 100 degrees is where you would follow that curved line around. So point G would be at 40 degrees north latitude, 100 degrees, is that east or west of the prime meridian do you think? That's right, it's west of the prime meridian. So it'd be at 40 degrees north latitude, 100 degrees west longitude. Well, thank you for tuning in today. I hope you learned a little bit more about using latitude and longitude lines to find pinpoint absolute locations. Thanks.